always give me what you got then. Ain't you the lucky one? Starting with that jacket you're wearing. I can pay you what I owe. I only need to write to my mother. Write to your mother? You'll pay me now! <gasps> or I'll take it out of your hide, do you hear? Please! I, I, I just... What does he owe you? Well, what's he... He owes me ten bob. I'll pay it. Here you go. Gilbert, we must get back to school now. Why? I'm having a fine time. Yes, almost getting clobbered by a man three times your size sounds like a grand occasion. Why do you care? Why are you even here? You're no longer my friend. I'm not sure why I'm here. Why I feel so compelled to watch over you. Why I tear up reading letters from your mother. For her sake, I want you to start being a son who is honourable and good and thoughtful. That's not who I am. Perhaps you need to start thinking about who God created you to be. Look at yourself. Look at what you've lost tonight. And not just your money, but your morals. Is this really who you want to become? But... I can't change. Gilbert, no one can truly change on their own. That's where God comes in. And it starts by asking him. At Lamplighter Theatre, we're producing stories with a purpose. Stories that give biblical insight into parenting, character, and a Christian worldview. Come visit us at lamplighter.net.